Oh, I guess what time it is. I bet you can't guess. Can you guess? It's fancy elevator with great lighting time. Uh, so, let's see, what's going on? Gotta make use of this great lighting. I'm going to tour the Scientology building with Alex. I just met his roommate, who's been an actor in LA for 10 years. He needs headshots. He just got back from a show where he worked with the lead actor in Lord of the Rings for 10 weeks and wants Instagram promotional PR shots. He's gonna pay me $700 for it. That never happens in Colorado, and that is one of the many reasons that I wanna live in these three cities. There was someone right outside the elevator when it opened. Whoops. Anyway, things are good. Yay, LA. Things don't look good over there, though. Things look very bad over there. You know, I'm starting to like LA. Oh, oh yeah, go ahead. Get it, bro. Look at that dance. What a dance. Just look at this man and his achievements. Look at all the things that Mr. L. Ron Hubbard did. He's a real life photographer, writing with light, and horticulturist, and a mariner. There's even a statue to him with his name engraved in gold. Doesn't he look like a kind individual? And look at this very useful quote. You can pause to read it. This is genuinely exciting. We're gonna get to go on a tour. Quite excited. I just can't hide it. Oh. I need to go. Western literature. All in an effort to satisfy a rare and abiding curiosity in America's diverse communities in the teens of the 20th century. So that museum tour was cool and all, but like, it was mostly a shrine to like, the power of the individual, and if I have learned anything from the last two years of my life and also living in these cities for the last couple weeks, it is that being an individual who does a lot of things matters almost none. Having a community of people around you who can help support your ideas matters a lot. I am very curious now, though, about L. Ron's life. Like, there was no mention of his family or of any people in his life other than himself. So that was weird. And then, also, he was just extraordinarily prolific. He apparently published over a thousand books in his lifetime, which is a lot of books. Like, that's... way too many per year for all of his adult life. So many. So many. Is that even possible? Yeah, anyway, it was a crazy tour. If you're ever in LA, go get indoctrinated. It's an interesting look at the life of one particularly interesting individual. People who start religions, I just don't understand how you, why, for what reason do you? Anyway, okay, it's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, bye.